Welcome to Shujin Academy VGM Club. I'm Professor Tom, your faculty sponsor. Our opening song today is Storm Course from Lotus Turbo Challenge 2 for the Amiga, composed by Barry Leach. And today's show is the first of two episodes devoted to the Amiga's Lotus series of racing games and their spiritual successor series, the Top Gear games for the SNES and the Nintendo 64. Uh, I was originally going to do one episode focusing on Lotus and Top Gear. That was going to be a very long episode already, and then when I was doing research for it, I found out there were more games in the Top Gear franchise that I didn't know about, and one game in particular had an outstanding soundtrack I had to include. I looked at my track list, and it was over 90 minutes, so I decided that I should rework it some and split it into two episodes. This one is focused on Scottish composer Barry Leach's work in the two series, and my next episode will be focused on some other composers and their work with these two series. I'm going to start off by cheating just a little bit from my theme and playing the title theme from the first game in the series, Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge for the Amiga. While this game and its direct sequels were released for a variety of platforms, they were really developed for the Amiga first and foremost, and the Amiga's Paula sound chip makes the best sounding music out of all the platforms that this series touched. Credits for this are a little fuzzy, but as far as I can tell, it was composed by Sean Southern and Andrew Morris, who also did everything else on this game because that's how computer game development was back in 1990 when it was released. I'm only going to play this one song because this game's soundtrack is pretty rough, Sean Southern and Andrew Morris were programmers and sprite artists, not composers. But this song is referenced by Barry Leach, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Anyway, enjoy title theme from Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge for the Amiga. Now that we've checked out that title theme from Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge, let's get to the really good stuff. 
Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge sold well enough to get a sequel. It was released in 1991, and it was called Lotus Turbo Challenge 2. They dropped the Esprit from the title because users could drive both a Lotus Esprit and a Lotus Elan SE, but they kept the Turbo Challenge because it was still a racing game, and the Lotus because the cars you were driving were both still Lotuses. For this game, Scottish composer Barry Leach got brought in to do the music, and he did fantastic. Leach turned in a Eurobeat-style soundtrack that established the sound for the franchise going forward. It helped that the Amiga's Paula sound chip is a great fit for electronic music. The Amiga sound is sometimes compared to a baby SNES sound chip because it uses some similar concepts, but the sound on the Amiga is not quite quite as rich? Believe it or don't, but the Amiga's mid-80s sound hardware is not as good as the sound chip for the SNES, which came out in 1990. Anyway, there's been enough filibuster on the mothership from me. It's time for a music block. We're going to play a bunch of songs from 1991's Lotus Turbo Challenge 2. I'm going to kick things off with title theme, which references the Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge main theme. After that, it's going to be forest course, then night course, then desert course. That's going to be followed by Motorway Course, and we'll close out the block with the ending theme. None of these tracks have super creative names, or maybe they do, and I just wasn't able to find them. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier, and from here on, all these tracks were composed by Barry Leach.
Those songs were Title Screen, Forest Course, Night Course, Desert Course, Motorway Course, and Ending Theme, all for Lotus Turbo Challenge 2, all for the Amiga, all composed by Barry Leach. Now, Barry didn't come back for 1992's Lotus 3, The Ultimate Challenge. Instead, that game was composed by Patrick Phelan. But if you can't get enough Amiga music on my show, you'll be happy to know that my next episode covers Lotus 3, so you've got something to look forward to. I do not know why Barry Leach didn't come back for Lotus 3, although it wouldn't surprise me if it's because he was just occupied with another project. Mr. Leach is a pretty prolific composer, and he even does some soundtrack work today. Uh, More on that near the end of the show. What I do know is that when developer Gremlin Graphics decided to make a racing game for the Super NES, they looked to the Lotus series for inspiration. The game was named Top Gear, although it was known as Top Racer outside North America, but I'm using the North American titles because that's where I live and the world revolves around me. I'm actually assuming that they chose not to go with Top Gear as the title to minimize confusion with long-running British car enthusiast TV show Top Gear, but I'm not sure why they didn't use the Top Racer theme in North America. Anyway, Top Gear the Super Nintendo game was very heavily influenced by the Lotus series. Lead programmer Richie Brannon admitted as much in an interview with a Brazilian gaming website, and one of the reasons that he stated for the influence was that he shared an office with Lotus series programmer Sean Southern while Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge was under development. I'm actually going to link that interview in the show notes. Brannon did a bang-up job because Top Gear was very well received when it came out, and it even went on to become a racing classic in Brazil where the game still has legions of fans. Uh, So, let's talk about the Top Gear soundtrack. Barry Leach swooped in to complete all the tunes for this game, but according to the Top Gear wiki, he was only given a week to do it. That's not a lot of time, even for a relatively short soundtrack, so he finished a single original song, and then got the rest of the soundtrack by recompiling tracks from the Amiga Lotus games on the much more flexible Super Nintendo sound chip, and then playing with elements until he got the sound he wanted. In this case, Pressure made a diamond because this soundtrack is fantastic. To me, the Top Gear songs sound so much richer than the Lotus songs that they're entirely new tracks, but if you want to give an assist for these to Lotus 3 composer Patrick Phelan, I'll allow it. The one wholly original tune that Barry Leach composed for Top Gear is Las Vegas, which I actually played back in episode 24 that covered music about America. I think I should wait more than six episodes before playing a song again, so instead of playing that, the next block will start with Top Gear's title theme, and then it'll be Frankfurt, followed by Bordeaux, both of which are from the game's European tracks, and then I'll close out the block with the game's ending theme. Let's hear some songs. Thank you. 
Those songs were Title, Bordeaux, Frankfurt, and Ending Theme, all for Top Gear on the Super Nintendo, all composed by Barry Leach with a debatable assist from Patrick Phelan. And now, for a word from our sponsor. Hey guys, are you getting older? Do you notice that your uh, joystick isn't standing quite as tall as it used to? Don't worry, because Player Pills are here for you. Player Pills is an all-natural male enhancement supplement that'll get your joystick longer and stronger than it's ever been before. Our special combination of medicinal herbs, vitamins, and questionable chemicals that might actually be illegal will get your number one peripheral better than ever in no time and let you play all night. Find player pills in gas stations, pawn shops, and disreputable used game stores near you. Now, back to the show. The coolest thing about doing this show is... Actually, it's all the money I get from it. The second coolest thing about doing this show is... uh, Actually, it's how much female attention it garners me. I just walk into a nightclub and say that I'm Professor Tom, faculty sponsor of Shujin Academy VGM Club, America's number seven game music podcast, and then there are girls swarming me and forcing me to explain that I am happily married and I cannot take them home with me. The third coolest thing about doing this show is that the research I do leads me to interesting new games and discoveries that I wouldn't have found otherwise. As I mentioned in the intro, this was originally going to be a single episode that came in a little on the long side, but still within the 45-75 to minute limit that I try for when I put things together. But then I found out something interesting that pushed my single episode over the edge and forced me to turn it into two episodes. I'd previously thought that the Top Gear series stopped on the Super NES with Top Gear 3000, which was a game that moved things into the distant future. But actually, the series went on for a while, and I'd just never seen any of the other franchise entries on the N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, or the PlayStation 2. After Top Gear 3000, the series moved back into the present and off of the pavement with Top Gear Rally for the Nintendo 64, a game I'd never heard of until I started doing research for this episode. But when I found out that Barry Leach did the soundtrack for Top Gear Rally, I immediately went and checked it out, and it is fantastic! Once I heard these tracks, I had to make sure and play them on this episode, and that's how you're all getting two episodes on the Lotus slash Top Gear games, and not just one. Back to Top Gear Rally. Barry Leach's tracks for this are an evolution of the work he did for Top Gear. They're all great techno tracks that encourage me to get back on the road, or maybe off the road, since it's a rally game, and drive. While the N64 didn't have a dedicated sound chip, it was a more capable audio machine than the SNES, and these tracks definitely reflect that. Let's check them out, shall we? We're going to start off with Coastline, followed by Mountain, and then Jungle, and I'll end things up with Strip Mine. Everything was composed by Barry Leach. Ready? Go!
Those songs were Coastline, then Mountain, then Jungle, then Strip Mine, all from Top Gear Rally on the Nintendo 64, all composed by Barry Leach, today's featured composer. And that's the show. If you want to reach me, all my links to everything are available on my link tree at linktr.we slash Shujin Academy. You can find me on Mastodon at Shujin Academy VGM Club at Mastodon.coffee or on Discord as Professor Tom7512. I'm also on both Tumblr and Instagram as Shujin Academy VGM Club. You can email me at Shujin Academy VGM Club at gmail.com. Episodes of my show are posted on my YouTube channel, which is linked in the show notes. Please leave me a five-star rating on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you're finding this episode. Look for new episodes on Thursdays whenever I get them done, which is typically once or twice a month. By the time you hear this, my appearance on fellow VGM podcast The VG Embassy should be available for you to check out. I had a great talk with VGM Prime Minister Ed about Sega arcade games and their awesome soundtracks, so check it out. I'll put a link in the show notes. Special thanks for this episode goes out to fellow VGM podcaster Jameson of Bar Silence Podcast for contributing cover art. You can and should find Bar Silence wherever you download podcasts, and check out his website at barsilence.com. Barry Leach has a Bandcamp page that includes his work on Top Gear, and I encourage you to pick it up if you liked this episode. I'm going to link to it in the show notes. It also includes his work on several other games, which segs nicely into the last thing I've got for this episode. I mentioned earlier that Top Gear earned a huge following in Brazil, and a group of Brazilian developers at Aquarius Game Studio put together a modern game called Horizon Chase that was inspired by the Top Gear series. It sold well enough to get a sequel, and Barry Leach came in to do the music for both games. These soundtracks include some callbacks to the original Lotus and Top Gear soundtracks, alongside a lot of new trance and techno songs that you should check out. So, to close us out... I'm going to play Rocking in Rome from Horizon Chase 2, available for all modern consoles, PC, Mac, and iOS, composed by Barry Leach. Thanks for listening. I'm Professor Tom, and I'll see you next time on Shujin Academy VGM Club.